Hello and welcome to Rob's Rules. Well, the rules are simple. They're ours. I'm here, you're there. Welcome, my fellow rulers. Today is very interesting. Amber Heard's attorney, Elaine Bredenhoff, I, I think that's how you say her name. She was on uh, Thursday's Today Show. And when she was asked, does Amber Heard have the money? Can she pay the $10.35 million to Johnny Depp? She said no. Now, it's actually not $10.35 million because Johnny owes two, which would make it $8.35 million. So Amber Heard does not have the means to pay the, the money in damages following the trial on Wednesday. Elaine Bredenhoff was on, uh, like I said, Thursday's Today Show, and she was asked, and she said, absolutely not. She also went on to say that Elaine believes that her client was demonized during the trial that internet was in Johnny's favor. She feels it ultimately affected the outcome of this case. And although jurors were told not to scan social media during the breaks from the courtroom, Elaine Brenhoff says, how can you not? They went home every night, they have families, and the family's on social media. We had a 10-day break in the middle because of the judicial conference. There's no way they couldn't have been influenced by it. And it was horrible. It really, really was lopsided. The attorney continued, it was like the Roman Coliseum, how they viewed this whole case. Elaine added, I was against cameras in the courtroom, and I went on record with that, and had argued against it because of the sensitive nature of this case. But it made it a zoo. Now, I'm just going to comment on this. Basically, Elaine is blaming now the Internet, and it's the influence of the Internet that this case was decided by the jury. And that's a bunch of baloney. This case was based on the facts and evidence. This case was based on the fact that what Amber Heard was saying on the stand did her in. In my opinion, Amber Heard blew it herself. How do you go on being on the stand, fake crying? There was no tears there, no tears whatsoever. And her stories were full exaggeration. She kept adding to the story, adding to the story, adding to the story. And it just didn't make any sense. How do you take pictures of Johnny Depp sleeping yet when you're talking about being beaten and glass on your feet and you know, being cut by shards of glass, you take no pictures of the incident when blood would be fresh. You don't show it to your friends. You don't show it to your family as evidence to show what had happened to you. To talk about him punching you or beating you or hitting you, the guy had rings on, it would mark up your face. And why wouldn't you take pictures of that if you so-called hid in bedrooms and you know, make sure he couldn't come in. So if you had locked yourself away, as she claimed, it just didn't make sense. Where were the pictures? And let's not forget the sexual assault she added by saying he had used a bottle at a time that his finger had been cut off. He has one hand available. Are you telling me with basically one hand He's using a bottle that you found there was no way for you to get out of there. And where was your medical records of this? If he used a bottle in your area, you, any woman would have definitely have seen a doctor, even if they didn't want to report it. And that would have been on record. Every time she made a claim about something, she had no photos. And the only photos she apparently seemed to have were the ones from the L.A. penthouse incident, which witnesses after witness from Isaac Baruch, who lived on the same floor and saw her as clear as day, to security who saw her as clear as day, said she had no marks or no bruises from the police who saw her hours later, said there was no marks, no bruises, no swelling, 
and the penthouse was in fine condition. So again, everything doesn't add up. Why would you try to get the police away from your penthouse after an incident and using it as evidence? It just doesn't make any sense to me. And if anybody caused them to lose the case, it was Amber Heard herself as her performance and her acting is just horrific. Fake cries, fake tears, a whole show pouting with nothing showing. I don't blame the internet for losing the case. I blame Amber herself. Her lies and deceit were saw through from everybody on the internet and Twitter and Facebook and Instagram to the jury who saw it themselves. What a phony and what a liar she was. And are you going to tell me that everybody lied but her? Everybody. The police who went out on Johnny Depp's payroll lied. Agents lied. Security lied. Friends and family lied. People who worked security in the building who weren't on Johnny Depp's payroll, they lied. And a lawyer who saw Amber herself, which wasn't brought up in the case, must have lied too. Think about all this in my rant. And I'll see you next time. Be safe and be well. We'll talk about it. Take care. Till next time. I love you a lot. Thank you for your support.